18 boat sales and behind me is our in stock 2020 Cobia 301 cc this boat is finished in haze gray black powder coating custom painted black 300 yamahas it's sitting on a custom ameritrail aluminum trailer specifically built for this boat uh, thing is loaded with pretty much every option outriggers jail audio speakers let's climb up take a look at all the features and functionalities that make this our best-selling cobia model Starting the bow of the Cobia 320cc, you can start to see what makes this a tremendous fishing in family platform. Up in the bow here, we have a Lumar windlass with a raw water washdown hose built in up here so you can hose muck sand debris off of your anchor before you put it away. Keep it clean. Up center in the bow, we have a pop up nav light, two bow cleats, then our four kite rod holders. In the bow, we order all of our larger cobias with these. Right behind that, we have two cup holders. Underneath of here, we have storage on both sides. It's gasketed, does a really nice job of keeping everything in there dry. Underneath of my feet, we have a bow table. The bow table can come up and stop at cushion level to create a day bed up here in the bow, or can come all the way up and become a table for family activities while out on the water. Right after that, we have a large storage compartment in the floor. Then, inside the console, we have a large step down head with plenty of headroom. I'm six foot, I can stand up in there comfortably with room to spare. Toilet, sink, storage, uh, buttons there for your macerator and your overboard discharge. Up here in the top left left hand corner we have all of our breakers for our switches and then a fold down mirror that gives us access to our electronics super accessible boat all the fuses and everything lay right there and when we install our electronics we label everything so there's no guessing game of which fuse is which over here on the starboard covering board we have our waste pump out along with fold out backrest we have fold out backrest on both sides if you are just going fishing these are removable and you can leave them at home but still very nice feature. Two JL Audio M6770 speakers right there in the kick panels. Our table controls are right here. As we move aft on the Cobia 30, we have our first of four macerated fish boxes. Another one right behind that underneath of my feet. Coming around here to the dash. We currently don't have any electronics in this boat. We do all of our electronics rigging in-house. We can do whatever you want and we cater the electronics to the needs of the customer, not just the package that comes from the factory. So we can do anything here. We can do glass helms. We can customize this and make it exactly the way you want it. All of that's done in-house. We have a tremendous service and rigging department here. Black upgraded Edson steering wheel, Yamaha digital controls. Optimus uh, uh, steering gauge here. This boat is joystick ready. Again, we install those in house. We've been to school for them. We go through, we program, we do everything here. Really gets the most out of the joystick as possible. In both gunnels here, we have M6880 JL audio speakers. These are paired with an eight, eight channel, 800 watt amplifier and a Media Master 100 head unit. All of your switch gears located right here. Windless controls, push button start for the Garmin. Yamaha, or sorry, push button start for the Yamaha, Yamaha key switch, Bennett trim tabs on this boat with indicators. Really, really nice to know where everything is. Both gunnels have uh, fuel fill. We have a single fuel tank in this boat with enough range to go anywhere you want to go. Coming around here, we have LeBrock captain's chairs. Really, really nice fold down bolster. These slide forward and aft, and these flip up and flip down and lock. Right below that, we have access to our battery switch compartment. Batteries aren't shoved in the bilge or hidden behind a wall in this boat. They're here, they're accessible, they're easy to get to. Both these panels fold down. These are also locking latches, by the way, and expose all of our batteries in this boat. We have four Group 31 AGM gel cell batteries all the wiring is labeled so you know where everything goes port engine starboard engine house house our breakers are labeled this is all the wiring for the switch panel again neat tidy labeled so you know where everything is so if you do have a problem which let's face it it's a boat at some point you're going to have to do something you know where everything is 
it's easy to work on. This boat also has a battery charger built in, um, so you can keep these batteries charged up while at the dock. Extension cord plug-in, don't need any fancy 30 amp plugs. Like some boats, just a regular old extension cord you can get from Home Depot. We flip that up, twist and lock. Moving around the back side there, on this side of the leaning post, we have our hatch controls right here. This is for our bilge access. Right below that, we have our uh, charger plug. This pulls out, extension cord plugs directly into that and charges the batteries. Coming around here, we have our side entry door. That flips open, this unlatches and twists, and the door opens up there. A lot of companies you'll see that have side entry doors have a chrome trim ring around them. That means that's an afterthought. This was built into the mold. This boat is designed to have the door. It's a huge amount of structural integrity that was added in order to accommodate this door. Really, really nice feature. Underneath of here, jutting out here, we have our dive ladder. The dive ladder drops into these two chrome hooks. Makes it really easy for boarding and uh, getting out of the boat at the sandbar, things of that nature. This folds back and locks. This flips back over and latches shut. Coming after there, under this covering board, we have our fresh water wash down. Under the opposite covering board, we have our raw water wash down. On the back side of the leaning post here, we have a fresh water sink with a shower. We have a small cooler right there. Below that, we have our Plano box storage, our drawer storage. I keep my dock lines on there on my boat. Then coming around to the stern here, we have our fold down rear seat, which is covered in pollen. I apologize for that, but it's hard to avoid it this time of year. That folds back up in stores. Again, this whole rear hatch lifts up and gives you great bilge access. I mean, unprecedented in a boat of this size. Everything's easy to get to. You can change out bilge pumps, macerator pumps, all that kind of stuff without having to work through a little tiny pie plate. Behind the backrest here, we have our two live wells. There's two individual live well pumps in the bilge with their own pickups. Really, really nice feature. Again, raw water wash down underneath of this covering board. Pop-up cleats again in the back here. Behind this door, we have our fuel water separator access. And then last but not least, we have a fresh water shower right back here so you can get sand, muck, and mud off of you when you get back in the boat. Wind Black 300 Yamahas. The 300 Yamaha is arguably the best engine that they make. We had these finished custom in black to match the powder coating and the overall color scheme of the boat. We like to do that kind of stuff here. We don't like generic boats. We like to make them pop, make them flash, make them a little bit different than everybody else is out there. This boat is equipped with rough outriggers and bases. I believe these are 18 foot riggers. Uh, they come with enough rigging to do a single halyard setup in your owner's bag. Really, really sweet boat. I hope that you can see why this is truly our best selling model from Cobia. If you have any questions, give us a shout, 302-436-1737, or shoot us an email to schedule an appointment. Like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you want to see more of. I'm Zach Seuss with Route 113 Boat Sales, and thank you for watching.